Welcome to VMblog's coverage of KubeCon Cloud Native 2022. Today, we have the pleasure of having Stephen Chin, who's the VP of Developer Relations at JFrog. How are you doing today? Good, good. Great to, great to be chatting with you, Brian and David. This is an awesome, awesome event, which we're, we're able to participate in. And we're, we're longtime sponsors, speakers, and members of the KubeCon and Cloud Native community. Great. Well, for the people that don't know about JFrog, maybe you can start by giving us kind of a quick overview of the company. Yeah, no, no. So I think JFrog is a is a really interesting company. So we're we're kind of in the background, enabling all of the deployments, all of the end to end DevOps pipelines, which make software delivery, um, having quick delivery um, and deployments to your end systems, having secure deployments, making sure that you're um, not exposing your customers or, or your um, your systems to zero day vulnerabilities or other exploits, and um, giving our companies the the most scalable, best of breed, um, hybrid multi cloud solution to accomplish their entire DevOps platform. And then, how would you describe your the way your company fits within the ecosystem that's being discussed at the uh, KubeCon Cloud Native Con event? Yeah, so I think when you when you look at the the entire cloud native space, it's it's a pretty broad range of of companies, of users, of folks, and doing doing deployments using Kubernetes into um, cloud environments or hybrid environments has basically become the de facto standard for how people publish and distribute software. Um, our de facto in the JFrog platform is the the first container registry we actually were the ones who who had the first commercial enterprise container registry and also for um, scalable distributed deployments um, being able to easily um, diff do contextual analysis do introspection of your images those are all things which you can accomplish using our platform and um, most of the Fortune 500 companies use um, the JFrog platform as the system of record for knowing exactly what's in production, um, a full catalog of the bill of materials, everything which they're publishing, all the dependencies. And this is, for, for large organizations, this is a really powerful tool that enables them to have full control for the end-to-end -end, um, cloud-native deployment process. Now, for the attendees at the KubeCon event, um, what specific problems do you solve for them? Maybe you could talk about a few specific use cases. Yeah, so I think um, you know, folks coming to KubeCon, obviously they're they're learning about cloud native deployments, microservices, serverless technologies, um, how to how to build applications which you can easily deploy to different cloud architectures on um, to Kubernetes and to other systems. And I think that the, the JFrog platform is actually a really great way to get started with a lot of these use cases. We have an entirely free version of our product, the JFrog free tier, which you can you can use to um, publish your um, container images to as a container registry. You can do security analysis and scanning of your libraries and your dependencies. So it hooks in with Docker Desktop. We have a great plugin for Docker Desktop. Uh, we have integration with all the IDEs, which which developers and DevOps professionals use. And this, I think, if you're if you kind of look at um, doing automated testing as a best practice and good hygiene, of doing agile development as kind of the the, the modern. Um, um, process efficient way of, of doing software developments for everything related to deployment of public and publishing software using a container registry, using a package management system and using a DevOps platform like the JFrog platform is just one of those standard best practices that all large organizations use. And it's good to, to get started with a lot of those good hygiene and practices in your deployments when you're starting, starting out with your cloud native um, development. And if you could maybe just dive in a bit deeper and talk about your technology, you know, what it does, what you're offering uh, an attendee. Yeah, so I think we're, we're best known for Artifactory, which is our package manager and container registry. Um, it's, it's unique in that it supports the most package types of any package manager on the market, over 30 different package types for different language ecosystems, container management, and even uh, we recently added Terraform support. 
So you can also store your configuration inside of Artifactory. And uh, we, we offer best, best in class um, vulnerability detection with X-Ray, which is our security scanning product. And it's, it's really well integrated and seamless. So you just flip a switch and now you're, you're scanning all your software artifacts, you're scanning all your dependencies, and you're also scanning your Docker images. It will peel open your containers. It will look inside of it for any vulnerable libraries. It will look inside those libraries for what their dependencies are and give you kind of a nice onion graph of all the vulnerabilities and the, the issues with your um, the container images which you're using. And uh, we also take it to the edge with our um, distribution technology and our Artifactory Edge servers, which allow you to efficiently push your deployments to, to edge computing, to IoT, and to um, a broader set of deployment use cases to more efficiently deploy and deliver software to your customers. Now, there's going to be a, a lot of vendors at the, uh, you know, sponsoring the uh, KubeCon event. What would you say makes JFrog unique or differentiated or stand out from the crowd? Um, that's a good question. So I, I think that we're very well differentiated in terms of um, the fact that we're totally multi-cloud hybrid. The same software you run on-prem is exactly the same that you run in the cloud. And this isn't true of a lot of other software vendors. You get an entirely different feature set and functionality when you, when you switch. And you know, hybrid is an entirely different beast. Um, also, when you look at our focus as a company, we not only do security, but we we have a whole security research team just focused on finding zero day exploits, um, providing the best remediation steps, really helping people to interpret and to to act on some of the security information with receiving. And probably the the most important differentiator for us at scale is our large customers really depend upon us to um, not only meet their needs today, but meet their needs as they grow to petabytes of storage, to um, supporting thousands of geographically distributed teams. And um, I think this is really the reason which we're considered the de facto standard in the package management space, because um, Artifactory and the JFrog platform achieves that scale for large organizations, which are heavily um, decentralized and globally distributed. Uh, historically, at KubeCon, Cloud Native Con is a time for companies to announce their newest offerings and products. Um, does JFrog have anything that you're announcing at the show? Um, that, now that you mention it, <laughs> we might have an announcement or two. Um, so one of the things which we've been working really hard on since the acquisition of um, Vidu, um, which is now our JFrog security team, is the JFrog advanced security offering that we're, we're going to be announcing at KubeCon. Um, and this, this takes the, the X-ray and our security offering to the next level, because now you're, we're not just you know, scanning your, your software libraries and dependencies, but we're able to detect any exposed secrets. So this is a, a new sort of attack where um, it's very common for, for accidents to be made and where secrets are stored, where they're um, exposed. And we do a in-depth um, search and uh, highlight any areas where you might have secrets exposed in your source control and containers and artifacts. Uh, we also detect the use of insecure libraries and services, so we can flag and highlight that. But I think there's something which we do even more powerful on top of that, which is the ability to do contextual analysis of are those vulnerabilities actually things which affect you as a as an application? Does, does it affect your particular use of it? And um, one of the big challenges with security is the simply getting all of the known vulnerabilities and insecure libraries you're using is a, uh, a very difficult task to process because a lot of those don't apply to your application, to the libraries you're calling, to the APIs you're using. And our new contextual container analysis will actually tell you, not only do you have vulnerabilities, but are you affected by these in your use of those libraries and applications? And the last thing which goes along with our advanced security offering is the ability to do um, infrastructure as code um, scanning. So not only are we checking your libraries, we're also checking um, your, your Terraform scripts, your deployments, and figuring out whether there are any misconfigurations in any of the 
um, uh, container configuration um, files which you're using, which would potentially expose you to vulnerabilities in production. Now, I know you're also heavily involved in the open source community. Do you have any announcements around that? Yeah, so we we actually are really, really um, happy that we're one of our big open source projects, which we've been working on for the past year, um, called Persia. It's a supply chain security um, um, open source project designed to supply secure libraries, secure open source libraries to developers around the world. Um, we're going to be announcing at QCon that we're donating this project to the Continuous Delivery Foundation. And um, this is in collaboration with our, a bunch of our partner companies, including Docker, Oracle, and other folks who have been supporting us and working in collaboration on this project. And I think this is a first in that um, not only are, are we adding all of this advanced security to our products to make sure that our customers get the best possible security analysis for their enterprise needs, but we're also pushing this to the left and upstream to enable and provide the same sort of advanced capabilities for um, security into the open source ecosystem where now, if you're an open source library author, you have a, a secure um, distribution channel for publishing your libraries. Um, we make sure that what you get, you get as an end user of libraries is built from source and it's verified by multiple companies. And um, I think this is a, a world's first distribution network that's designed for, for, for um, secure distribution of open source libraries from the beginning. Now, at the show, uh, on the keynote stage, they're going to talk a lot about, you know, big picture items. What uh, big themes or trends is JFrog interested in as we head into 2023? Yeah, so I, I think this is interesting. And actually, I was I was chatting with Priyanka a bit about um, her, her keynote, which she's going to be talking about how the, the downturn has affected companies in terms of their investment model. And um, I think one of the unique things about JFrog as a company is, um, so JFrog was born um, over a decade ago in a recessionary period. So basically the, the founders of the company deeply understand what it means to um, fisc operate a, a business fiscally to make sure that the, um, the right decisions are being made um, to support the company's growth. And coming out of the IPO, um, we initially we were very conservative on the sort of investments. We had very steady growth. We were hitting our targets, but we weren't over-investing. And I think looking at the, the past year, that's really helped us to sustain our growth and to propel us through the, the current economic climate in a very, very positive way. And we're continuing to make investments in foundations. We just joined the Rust Foundation um, and are on the, the board of the Rust Foundation, which is one of the key new technologies we see taking over being a memory safe language. We're investing in open source projects like Persia, which I mentioned we're donating to the Continuous Delivery Foundation. And um, we're continuing to expand our, our outreach into the open source and the cloud native ecosystem. And I think that this is coming, looking at this, um, this period we're in where a lot of companies are um, pulling back resources, pulling back investment, the companies which are continuing to invest in open source, which are continuing to support the cloud native compute foundation and the cloud native ecosystem are the ones which will come out of this with the sort of growth and momentum to be the, um, the next leaders in our technology industry. Well, great. And lastly, where can people go if they want to find out more information about JFrog and some of the technologies and offerings that you talked about today? Yeah, so I mean, you can check out jfrog.com, of course, for our commercial offerings, um, all the new information on the advanced security offering, which I, I mentioned is published there as well. Um, Persia.io is the website for our new open source offering, Persia, which is part of the Continuous Delivery Foundation. And um, I think we, we try as much as possible to support developers, to support the open source ecosystem, and I'd encourage folks watching to give our free tier a try um, and you know try the free version of our product, which is a great way to get started about and learn to do DevOps and um, package management best practices. And check out Persia, which is an emerging open source project. And we're always looking for folks to contribute 
and help us make that an even better ecosystem project for supporting all the needs of distributing secure open source libraries for the entire cloud native ecosystem. Well, thank you for being part of our coverage of KubeCon. And uh, I guess people should come and check you out at the show and maybe uh, be able to see it firsthand. Yeah, absolutely. And this was um, great chatting with you both. Um, thanks very much for spending the time. Yeah, appreciate you joining us.